But let me firstly make clear that any allegation of abuse is taken extraordinarily seriously by the military, by the government. I didn't come into politics to excuse any case of human rights abuses. But it is not the case, as the lawyers have claimed in the newspaper this morning, in The Independent, that 33 new cases were presented to the Ministry of Defence last week. Secondly, there is no evidence that systematic abuse was a feature of our operations on a, on a widespread basis uh, within Iraq. The context is that over 120,000 British soldiers served in Iraq. In the vast, vast majority of cases, they, they adhered to the highest standards of behaviour. But where in a, a tiny minority of cases there has been abuse, it is absolutely right that that is unacceptable, that it is investigated, and if proven, either a court-martial or administrative di disciplinary action actually takes place. Each and every case, and I'm absolutely emphatic on this has got to be investigated and if there is evidence of wrongdoing then that needs to be dealt with and disciplinary action needs to be taken but there is not credible evidence that endemic uh, abuse was a, co a, a coherent part of the way that our military operated